I'm Jen. I'm the art teacher here at Yorkshire. Thank you so much for volunteering your time to come in and help with matting and hanging artwork. It makes such a huge difference with the students. They love to see their work up. I know everybody's time is very valuable and precious, so thank you so much for giving your time here. It really means a lot to me and to the kids. Um, I did just want to give you a quick run through about where you can find everything, so that way hopefully it makes things easier for you. Um, so let's so get started. When you come into the art room, I have these shelves all along the walls. And right here, I've got two shelves where I'm going to keep everything that we can mat and hang. Down here, there's a label that says work to mat. Up here, it says work to hang. Um, and this is how I'm going to organize things. On each one of these shelves, I have everything you need. I've got a kit to mat everything. I also have all the clips and strings to hang everything. So hopefully, that should make things easier. So uh, when you come in, you might want to just email me ahead of time and just say, hey, I'm coming in this day, so that way I can try and make sure to get something on the shelf for you, so that way it's done ahead of time. Um, but otherwise, when you come in, you should be able to come over here and see, okay, this stuff is ready to mat, this stuff is ready to hang, and you can just decide what you feel like doing. Okay, so when you come in and take something off of the work to mat shelf, you're gonna notice I'm gonna put them in a folder. I know this is backwards, but it's gonna say the teacher's name and where it should be hung up so that way you have an idea of where it's going. When you open it up in there, you're gonna find a roster so that way you can check people's names and how they spell it. You're gonna find name tags. On top, I'm gonna to put an example of how I'd like to have it matted and then underneath will be the artwork and the paper to mat it on and all of your supplies are on the shelf. Um, you're gonna notice that in the corner, again, this is backwards, but I'm putting their first name and last initial um, just for a privacy thing, but that way they can distinguish who they are, their grade, and then their teacher's last name. Um, some of the classes, some of the classes will have extra students written down at the bottom because um, those classes are split. So they took one first grade class and one kindergarten class and split them up. So they're um, additions to that class. So I can specify that on there. But when you come onto the shelf, you can take all these things out. You can feel free to spread out on one of my tables and just mat the whole thing. Once it's done, you can put it right back in the folder and then slide it onto the work to hang shelf. I wouldn't hang it right away just because the glue is going to need time to set. Um, and sometimes I like to press them underneath something heavy so that way they're like not all bendy and bowed. So that's on matting things. One thing about finding the names on the artwork is that I almost always will have them write their names on the back. Um, but the reason that I'm giving you the roster to sort of cross-reference is because sometimes they are just really tricky to read. These guys are still learning how to write their names. Um, some of them really like to write their names, it's a little hard to see, very large. Others of them think it's really fun to hide their name really small in the corner. Um, and some of them just kind of like to, you know, like freestyle it. And that's cool, but um, hopefully having the roster, will be, you'll be able to cross-reference what their names are. As long as you can figure out the first letter, you can usually figure out who it is. If you absolutely are like, I have no idea who, what name this is, or if there is no name on it, just leave it blank and we can just figure it out by process of elimination. So if you're coming in and you'd like to hang something or if there's something waiting to be hung up, these are the supplies you're gonna need. I might already have the strings hanging up for you depending on what time of year this is. But I have this big bowl of little clips, and all that happens is that these strings are hanging down from the cork strips that are already on the walls, and all you have to do is take the artwork, take two of these clips, and clip them right to the strings, and you can just hang them all down in a row like that, and it makes things a lot easier. So I think that's everything you need to know as far as matting and labeling. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I am just so thankful that you're willing to come in and help. So whatever you need from me, I am happy to give.